Objects 2018, and we're at Thermal Take. Let's go. So this is the M. Peter FC. Brands. Peter Brands here, MSC2 mod. A lot of these guys, you know, we're all just in our MSC2 yeah. mod competition, and I mean. Us at Thermal Take, we always bring the biggest modding presence to Computech. Of course, of course. No one compares to us on modding. <laughs> we look at the, the mods here, you guys look crazy at all this mods. Stuff we got here. I all right. challenge anyone to have more than us <sighs> here, and we got some of the best guys around the world too. They're real good friends. It's been great to talk yeah. to them. This is based on the P90, right? Yes, yes. So this okay. is, these are all based off of our core P90 chassis for the competition that we did. We yeah. got Peter Brands here from the Peter Netherlands. Brands. We got Matthew from France. Matthew from France. What's so special about this one? It's like a, a square kind of block. Yeah, kind he of... redesigned this, cut it up into different pieces. He slimmed it down and did a really interesting look here. And he actually added like a leather feel to this. This is all actual, um, you yeah. know, this is fabric that's been put over the top. It's versus like, just like a paint that you would normally see. It's like the stuff you find in the car, right? Right, right. Yeah, it's that luxury <laughs> car feel. Matthew knows what it's all about. He's okay. been great friends and does some great results. I have this uh, huge um, four. Is it a 420 yeah, or no, 480 radiator? 480 radiator, radiator. yeah. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, and this one some, here? Yeah, we got some other crazy core P90 stuff from the Philippines, yeah. from Thailand. Oh, this and one. From Thailand, yeah, we this, got a lot of these guys. Now, this these, is like a jetpack. Just, it looks, yeah, right? It does look like it's a jetpack. So I'm going to put this on and I'm going to take off with it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing must be a ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm we got this one. Like that. We have Monocro, Monocro here, Monocro. did another great example of what he can do with his mods. Yeah, um, and this turns, right? It, I don't know if it actually rotates uh, per se on it. I didn't want to touch it yeah, all that much. Just, just or, you know, <laughs> got to respect nice. the build and everything. Wow, well, this one, this is like a... And then, and then, of course, these guys, we got our two. That, now, Jesse Pelasco came out and won our competition. This one here? And Su Chow was right behind him with this wow. amazing mod here. These two guys just had some amazing talent to build something I know. that's crazy. That's crazy, man. You know, half the stuff is like the really... The detail he has inside. You know? I mean, that rotates around. Yeah, I, mean, I can see that, yeah. It's really, really cool. And this came in second, right? Yeah, yeah, and then this guy came in second. I Switch mean, out, brought this it is like... I, I mean, it's just amazing. You're looking at it in person. I mean, when I see it online, or I see a picture of it, it doesn't compare to actually this, seeing it this in is, the show. I tell you what, this is all 3D printed, right? And it's... No, no, no? I, do, I, I don't think so. But you'd have to ask the man yourself. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. I can notice there's two graphics cards on either side of the, the Ra engine no, no, area, right? The radiators with the oh, graphics card in the middle. Oh, graphics card, radiators. And, yeah, and here. Or I, I think what he did was he took the cooler from it and mounted it there oh. where he water blocked yeah, yeah, the yeah, GPU. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, actually yeah. haven't had a chance to talk to him in much detail. I've been actually really curious on how he had that set up. Wow, this thing must weigh a ton, man, but it looks good. Yeah, it's crazy, right? And this I one here? Yeah. So this is Mike Peterson from Belgium coming right. out with this sick Audi build. I really like what he did here down at the bottom with these cool little inner coolers yeah. with the liquid cooling running through it. All this stuff is all 3D printed. He's a 3D printing crazy man. All right. All this that laser engraved with all the cut for all the cable wires That's and everything. laser cut? Yep. Oh, wow, check that shit out. Very, yeah. very interesting stuff. Cable mods, yeah. Yeah, so this is like an Audi themed uh, mod. Looks yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Based off of the, the Core P5. Yeah. Um, this one looks now, very now, slick. Alex Banks, our buddy from the UK. Now this is some really interesting stuff. Hey, hey, you're from the UK. Awesome. Mickey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're uh, we're Brits, of course. You of can course. Hear my voice, no, so, no, uh, no, yeah, from the UK. But yeah, Alex came, brought another just a masterpiece here. Yeah. I mean, look at this acrylic water look block at the panel. Thickness you on guys that. You got to see how thick this is. How he machined it all to have all the channels, all the plumbing, and everything all done. It's really very. Detailed. That must take some real time testing this, uh, the, the the leak test, you know? <laughs> right. Wow. All right. I mean, that's definitely that's something all I've machine. Never gotten into. That's all machine cut, right? Yeah. 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 He's really a master with the CNC stuff. CNC with stuff. This. Yeah. And then having this nice layout here in the front with a motherboard and graphics card like that, and the tube work that he did, it really comes together. Definitely, definitely. Uh, he's all even got those heat shield on the man to uh, match up the the whole, you know, theme of it. Looks yep, very yep. slick. The pass at the bottom, right? Yep. That's yeah. That's pretty slick. I like and that. Just how like you can see the pump right there and the cooling going up through that giant block. Yeah, it's black coolant. I mean, that is planning, my friend. That is definitely that planning. That is definitely planning. All right, Tim from the Netherlands coming together with this awesome View 37. Uh, he's done a couple of tricks with this. 
You know, I like what he's done it's, with the front panel. Is this tempered uh, glass? No, no, no. It is acrylic. Acrylic. Um, we are look. We've looked into it, but doing a 90 degree it's tempered hard. glass is very hard. Yeah. We did it with our Core P3, and we we're trying to work out some other options for it in the future. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Just really brought it together. Clean tube work. Clean. Um, all these guys have been using all of our thermal take products to put it together and have a great result. Yeah. We even have some more over here. I mean, it just doesn't stop. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't stop. I mean, we got Michael here from the Philippines. Um, I'm not even actually, this one. I like this one too. This is from Taiwan. So this is MJ Mod. This is really interesting, you know, to yeah. take a core uh, P90 and then do this, adding the diffusers and all this stuff in here is really cool. Oh, exactly. This too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, this, it's, this, this is a P90 but flipped horizontally, kind of, right? Kind of laid on its side and then tilted up on this custom stand that he made. Oh, I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then from my side of the pond, what the hell we is got this? Eric. So Eric here has this crazy View 91. Now this is a big system. Look at the beast. Have this is a beast of room in can I, here. Can I open this? Um, I know he's oh, got okay. it secured. I don't want to really. Get All right, into cool, it. cool. But I mean, just seeing the loop work that he did, it came out really good. Um, it's oh, he's got a, a double reservoir in there, right? Double yeah, pump. He's got a double pump, double res in there, so he can isolate what the, the CPU. What and size CPU is that? Is that is that two? Is that one? No, one. One four. 20? He's got one 480 across 480. the top, and then he's got, or I think it's a 560. What the fuck? And fuck. then he's got three 140s all tied together to give it that cool oh, look it's, at it's the three, it's three separate so ones, three right? Three separate ones kind of stacked on top of each other. Custom paint work that he did with this throughout, all on the inside and everything. And he's actually put the stuff on the back too. Yeah, yeah, and then he's got a screen in the back that he had set up. I know it might be kind of hard to see, but he added like a touch screen on the back there. Joe, oh, this is these guys. Ah, so this is uh, is that is that the uh, uh, what's it called it the translucent or transparent LCD? Oh, no, well, not not with the glass, but the, see the screen right there. Oh, the there? screen right there. And then it's a it's a touch screen panel and everything like that too. Nice. It's really neat little add on. It's very clean, very have. clean. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what about this one here? And then over here we got another view. Yeah. This one right here is coming in from K-Bot. So this is another Taiwan entry. And yeah. he's just done some nice clean looks. I like what he added here with this steer on the bottom, cleaning up a lot of this stuff and you know, giving it he's that actually nice put, effect of wear and tear. He's actually put a look. big, um, the fan, right? Yeah, and these are our new 200 mil fans that he put in the front. Makes it look really good there. I like the little tube work that he did with that mm. nice little zigzag stuff. That's what I'm all about, my friends. So yeah. I always oh, like that. Is that a real water block? So I mean, this, yeah, this, so this was actually this is actually a gift that uh, Kenny got from Alex, who CNC'd this himself. Ah. He made this reservoir for our CEO Kenny as a gift for Palm Tech, and of course we wanted to fill it with some cool and show it off. Yeah, of course. This is something that you could sell, right? Yeah, I wish. I wish. <laughs> I mean, that's that's definitely some craftsmanship right there. Yeah, sure. Thermal Take uh, logo with the uh, reservoir, nice machined uh, CNN. Uh, CNN. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. We've got some more stuff here. This, uh, very neat, so very for square. Our, so for our 20th anniversary, we have um, a variety of a whole new series. So this is our level 20 VT, we have a level 20 XT, GT, and then of course the level 20 chassis itself. Because you know, we got 20 years, thermal take, we want to come out with a nice new series. That's right. It has a nice new fresh look to it. Um, similar design from what you might have seen with some of our older right. products, but we freshened it up with some tempered glass. Tempered glass. We gave it that nice same kind of feel and look to it with this. I mean, when you look at it for something that's, you know, luxury, that's compact and everything, this VT model is really, really cool. So the whole series of the uh, level 20, right? Mm -hmm. so I love these are all of our level 20s. Now, one thing I want to show you that's special about all the series just you know one thing to give you a highlight because there's just too many highlights to talk about right but one of the things is this right here if you want to come in here and take a look at this you want to come back over here right take a look at this right here so this is this case has a rotatable expansion slot ah, meaning i can right. take this off and then i can have my graphic cards that are traditional now Which become vertical. vertical and i got multiple slots to do it so i can put two cards in sli in a vertical layout with the level 20 gt oh we flip it around and it goes back to the traditional yeah it gives the big, give, we want to give the users the option to go one way or the other right. not just be locked into one type of stuff. okay and this is something that we saw last year and this, this is where everything is like 
Level 20 split up into different components, uh, parts, right? Compartments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we're celebrating yeah. our 20th anniversary. It's more than just one day here in Thermal Take. You yeah. Know, it's 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 over a year. And yeah. We have, uh, you know, we've shown this. We made a couple of changes. The color. We changed the color on it a little bit, mm. as well as some of the way the cable routing goes and everything. Yeah. But it's going to be available very soon. So definitely look forward to it. All right. Thanks. So, uh, I think that's it, I man. think that's Mick, yeah. Hey. Appreciate the time. Appreciate, appreciate the, the time, time, man. Great to see you guys. Thanks so much for watching.